We're on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2023. And this is episode number 32 of Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm the other one. <laughs> <laughs> what a mix up people have with us. I know. <laughs> So I'm just I've never like, in a million years be referred to as the blonde one in my entire life. Well, I just, I love it. It's not blonde, it's gray. But, and I feel like I need to like scooch over because Jane said, it's fine, stop moving the camera to fine. get us We're centered. Fine. <clears throat> We're fine. Welcome so, to another me. Monday edition. Yes. But not late night. No, uh, because I took the day off. Yeah. We're afternoon. Yeah. Afternoon delight. Is that everyone. what it is? Well, I don't know. Well. Oh, it says it's 117. Is that the right clock? I think so. Wow. So we were in the green room for like... We had uh, quite the chat in the Stitcher's Lounge to well, get ready. Well, you know, when you don't... And I have not seen her for two weeks. And I've really, short of two sketchy text messages, haven't even really texted you. So yeah. we had a lot to get caught up on before we could even, like, yeah. be human here. So Well, and last week we were up at the North Shore Lake Superior, and I don't know what's <laughs> changed as far as, like, cell tower coverage or whatever, but none of us, there were four of us, none of us had cell service. <laughs> so in a way it was glorious, but when you're relying on your cell phone to be a hot spot so you can dial into work, it was not as, glorious, not as glorious as you would think. No. And I'm like, well, I was alone by myself because my hunters left for the weekend and then I couldn't even text with her. So I'm like, well, that kind of blew what I planned to. But we're here and that's all that's important. Yep. So thanks for stopping. Yeah, the thanks. Thanks for stopping your scroll. Slowing your scroll. Yeah. So that's right. Well, I guess I need to ask the. Famous question, Jane. You ready? Did you work on anything while you were gone? Well, Julie, <laughs> thank you for asking. You're welcome. I did no stitching <laughs> up at the North Shore. <laughs> um, oh, a couple of stitches, but no, nothing remarkable. I did zero stitching. At one point, I just said to my husband, it'll be less frustrating for me if you just put it in the car, because <laughs> I know it's not within arm's reach then. Um, no, it was a work vacation, yeah. um, and uh, the kind of work vacation that makes you realize how glamorous your job really is not, <laughs> and it's not worth, it's not worth talking about, but my work conditions were less than optimal. And thank for the God week. it's over. And thank God it's October and not yeah. February. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I did, um, since returning home, I did work on a few things, so I will show you those. Um, the first thing I pulled out is Wisdom by Teresa Kogut. Uh, I am doing this with Leslie Hurley. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. From Fat Cat Flossing. And we are doing um, st a stitch along. So if you want to join us, uh, use the hashtag StitchyWisdomSal on Instagram. And we'll be able to see your things. And I will put that in the um, description box below. Below. Click on more. <laughs> so here is uh, Teresa Colgate Wisdom. I want to work on mine. It's really fun. And I'm doing this on 36 count Avogadro by Fiber on a Whim using all of the um, called for uh, fancy flosses in DMC just like Teresa charted it. And they're beautiful. Oh, they are. They're just beautiful. They yeah. Are. And here's my. Um, limited progress. So I just started filling in the flower. Oh, I I still am really taken by the leaves. That's a great green. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great green. Mine's still in the in the zip bag. I just haven't still gotten in, to it. Still for safekeeping. Yep. So yeah. Here are the oh, colors. they're gonna be beautiful. Yeah. I gotta get mine out. Uh, Leslie's is beautiful. Um, I just w I watched her latest floss tube yesterday afternoon between football games and naps, <laughs> and I'm just heartbroken for her because she made she one of the things one of the many things that I admire about Leslie 
is that she stitches from her stash. And so over the years, like we all do, she's accumulated beautiful silks and over dyed cottons and DMCs. And sh her um, custom conversions with the stuff that she pulls is beautiful. And Wisdom is no exception. A beautiful lavender bowl. The flowers are this gorgeous pink. But she found um, a hole in her fabric, like a cut mark in her fabric and um, calculated it all out and it's not going to be covered by stitching. Oh no, can she put something there by chance? She put some, um, at the advice of one of the one of her viewers, you beautiful people, they suggested um, ironing on a piece of interface on the back. Oh, and so, it. you know, uh, she's gonna try it. I think she's a little discouraged right now. Leslie, it's so beautiful, please yeah. pick it up. Even if it's just for little old me. Um, please pick it up. Yeah, it's do just it, do it for Jay. Do it for the other one. I uh, yeah, I I can't deal yeah. with her when she's sad. I don't like to be sad, but to have a sad Jane, that's oh man, you can't recover from that. You just can't. there's not. I enough. think with enough grilled cheese. I was gonna say there's not everything enough. Everything can be recovered. <laughs> um, uh, but I have a question. Yes. Um, is she com is Leslie combining? silk and cottons in this piece or she's just choosing cottons from her stash that she had do you happen to know i think and leslie please correct me if i'm wrong i think um she's stitching it with all silks that she's pulled from her silk. stash Ooh. it's gorgeous yeah it's I just gorgeous go over there and look like yeah i said i've not and there are so many other beautiful things she showed mm -hmm. in her last floss tube yes please go take a visit um, and then I did a little bit of work on Yellow Submarine. This is by Blackbird Designs. Yep. And I am stitching this on 36 count Summer Storm by Seraphim. Um, Love the fabric. Using the DMC conversion that they um, provide when there's one and only one DMC listed. If there are two DMCs listed, because you need to blend because mm -hmm. I'm working on 36 count. I'm doing one strand of floss over two fabric threads. Then I just use the straight um, DMC. And here is my progress. I just filled in the submarine a little bit. Oh, and look at that And fabric. did the, um, the urn with the, I finished the vine mm -hmm. or the branches off the top. But a lot of, um, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Love it. I guess I didn't recall the pattern that there was an urn on there. Yeah. Which all submarines do have that. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> and because, you know, we're just being real with each other here, um, the urn is not centered the way it's supposed to be. Oh. Yeah. Is it a little bit off? Well, it shifted it's, in the descent. It's off center, which is really a metaphor for my life and my personality, isn't it? We can say it. We're among friends here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I, I was the only one that knew. Now all of you know we the are. The secrets. Always. We are a half a bubble off. <laughs> we are half a bubble off. I always feel like I'm sitting like crooked. It's like, am I that missed? Is my body that off? Sorry. It just. Maybe no, I'm, but we don't sit oh, I'm like sitting, straight. Yeah. One of us oh, is yeah. One of us is veering a bit left. Yeah. And then this is uh, this I know by Plum Street, uh, and I'm doing this on some kind of 36 count mystery fabric, whatever is, came in the kit from Farm Farm Girl. Is that a girl. new bag? I don't think I've seen that. Nope, bag. this is the same. It's a beautiful Buckleberry Quilts bag. Oh. It's the same one that it's lived in from the very beginning. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, and this is Plum Street. This I know. Oh. Um, 36 count fabric. All of the called for DMC and fancy threads, including the ones that I had to coffee dye. Mm -hmm. um, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. You know all the stats just like that. Practice in my sleep. Oh. Uh, You're a woman of and, numbers. And all I did was Ooh, fill in some of the church. Look at Y'all, that's no joke. That's a lot of mm -hmm. filling in. And what I'm learning about myself is I have no patience Can for I filling see? in large blocks of color. But Is it one stitch at a time? 
It's coffee dyed DMC, the yeah. church. So so you're going this, 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 back, 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 back. I'm doing a mix. Okay. Because when I get um, horizontally fatigued doing the typewriter method, then I'll do the fatigued. I'll do the vertically challenged one at a time because in my um, bird brain it's like wow look at that big large vast open space is getting narrower. It's closing what in on you, babe. It's closing are, in on you. Whatever head games I need to play with myself. And here here are the um, colors. Oh, um, they are beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, the more I stitch with DMC, the more I just love it over and over and over again. Well, and what I like is that um, I can choose a tissue instead of a napkin. Are you getting for clump chili? No, I, it's like, I like it chilly, but it's rather arctic in here today. I do so. um, winter and summer keep my house at the steady temperature on the thermostat at Reed's Morgue. <laughs> and um, I don't mind that. It just kind of caught up with me all of a sudden. Now I feel like I... Need to get a parka, or that, or I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah. Well, maybe next time we'll have to have hot cocoa as our beverage of choice. <laughs> you can have your hand warm. Yeah. I did very minimal work on modern folk embroidery IAB 1817, also known as the Rosebush Sampler. And I am doing this on a beautiful piece of 36 count Tefra hand dyed linen by Cedar River Linen and Design. And I am using the color. Uh, floss pack from Roxy Floss Co. Um, which is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And um, I really need to cut my fabric. I'm going to say that every episode until, until I done. find the courage to actually um, cut the fabric. But this is not one of the floss tubes where I found the courage. This isn't it. No, I need to put my courage pants on yeah. and um, do it. So here is my progress. Oh my gosh. You're starting on the vase. I started on the vase a little bit and over on um, what would be my right side over here, I started to bring the border down more. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Vanna. You're welcome. Yeah. I think I would work on it more if it were on... Um, scroll rods. Scroll rods. Do you have the scroll rods? I have quite the collection of scroll rods. a plethora rods. of scroll yeah, rods. Yeah, I just need to measure and cut and yeah. get them on the scroll rods. So... I shall assist you if you'd like. By assist, do you mean do it for me or make me or sit there and make me do it while you watch? I don't know. Okay, that'll be a game time yeah. decision. Yeah, I don't want to be bossy. Sometimes that's what I need. Yeah. I need to be under bossy adult supervision. Yeah. And then I have one more thing that I worked on. I think I put the most time in on this since we got home. And this is Modern Folk Embroidery, the oh. Zimmerman coverlet. And I am doing this on 25 count antique white Lugana, one strand of floss over one fabric thread. And I am using a variegated DMC. Um, 121. It's beautiful. It's very blue. Where is the, did you bring it in? Mm -hmm. Yes, and just to be super prepared, I actually took it, undid the scroll rods. Oh, oh, that's what I heard. Mm. And? Oh, that's why I didn't see it. I was no. looking for it on scroll rods, so I got a little panicked. It's so thinking. unusual for me to actually do something proactive that Julie's like, Sorry, did you leave it in the other room? I was just No, thinking, surprise! I was just thinking of how we'd have to blank out the camera while I got up, because we don't know, we don't edit well. <laughs> I don't oh edit my. at all. Gosh. And here is my progress. Oh my gosh, do we need a border? Oh, look at the color. It's a lot of blue. Oh, that whole star thing in the center. Yeah, Get that's out. what I spent all of the time on is completing that. Oh my gosh, yeah. it looks like a print. Like, it is. A, it's a sure. I, it's a lot of fun to work on, and you can kind of get lost in it because, um, 
I won't lie, it's a lot of counting. That counted part of count across stitch sometimes surprises me. It trips you up, doesn't it? I don't know why it does. <laughs> um, but oh because you're gosh. using the variegated, um, it doesn't really get old. No. And I kind of took one of the skeins oh. and I cut it apart. Beautiful. Into lengths. And so you kind of, out of one skein, have like three groups. One where it's like... Um, a really dark royal mm -hmm. into a navy, another one that fades into the lighter tone, and then the one that's almost like a baby powder blue. Um, and so, you know, when you finish a motif and you're going on to the next one, you can kind of look at your color palette. And choose. And choose. Yeah. Way So cool. it's a lot of fun. Very impressive. I wish you all were sitting here so we could all look at this and go like, oh my God. God, and Julie together. would love that because the room would be warmer from the body heat <laughs> of everybody in here. <laughs> We'd have to all snug what together. What was that movie? Wasn't there a movie called Body Heat that was kind of naughty? Yeah. Back in the day? Back in the day. But what, what was, was naughty back in the day is like on Nickelodeon now. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it's a whole different version of the Rugrats. <laughs> well, I thought you said Rugrash. Oh, that's different too. <laughs> Let's scroll right along. <laughs> and those are my whops. <laughs> and I want, again, just like last time, I want to start all the things. I almost came in here yesterday. Um, because, you know, it's a... Anyway, I almost came in here. <laughs> Com edit, I'll be like Catherine. Edit, complete sentences, edit, Jane. Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> Um, I almost came in here yesterday and looked through a few things to make a list of everything that I want to do. And then I thought, oh, I face it. I mean, why make a list? Every drawer that you look at has like a hundred things that you want to do. Just pull out your bush baskets. That, yeah. That's hundreds right there. But I was even thinking I'd like to look through your bush basket. I don't have much for Shepherd's Bush. I just have the one project that maybe I could work on. No, you have Sail but, Away and oh, I think I gave I you my too. duplicate of the Garden Gate sampler. Yes, I I have three. It's growing. I have three, to which I didn't stitch really on any of those choices. No Shepard's bush for you? No Shepard's were stitched this last two weeks. And you know, I only have one Shepard's bush project, two in progress. I still have to make myself finish the earth gatherers. And then in the closet, in that beautiful green and lavender bag you made me, is Reed's stocking. Yeah. Which probably has like an hour worth of stitching on it. And then I have to decide if I'm going to give it to somebody. And now I'm just worth stitching them randomly. Left. Mm -hmm. Oh well, really? Yep. Oh, you need to step up, girl. What do you do? Work 15 hours a day? I cannot uh, confirm yeah. or deny. <laughs> but anyway, what about you, Julie? Do you have any <clears throat> whops that you want I to share? I do. Thanks, Jane, for asking. Didn't stitch on a lot, you know. I don't think there's one episode oh, of the last 10 that we haven't said what how hideous our weeks have been. Isn't that terrible? But that's life. So I'll that's tell you one. our lives yeah. anyway. And I'll tell you one thing. A call you never want to get on the phone is from a crying granddaughter who just got in a very bad car accident. She was so lucky. Yes. By the grace of God. And the handful of great grandma angels and great grandpa angels, Bella was not injured. But she was rear ended by a one ton truck and pushed into a pickup truck. So, although she escaped without injuries, the Explorer was totaled. So, that set me on Ed. God, God is good. Yep, everyone. that threw God me is good. for a loop. I'm still recovering from yeah. the what, what ifs, could have been the what ifs, and that's what me as a grandma, that's where I go. So a lot of paperwork, a lot. It wasn't, you know, her fault, of course. Um, but we are glad that she is safe and still with us. Oof. But wow, just makes you want to just sit and uh, be thankful and it. Call your loved ones. I, I did not get a lot. Call your mothers, everybody. I did not. Um, I was not focused on any one thing. So my whips, where are they? Oh, I did do some things. But we're so glad you're okay, Bella. 
Cars can be replaced. Okay. Beautiful souls can't. So I put some time in on this because oh. I was thinking of her. I think we need a board. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and you've made so much progress. Last time you had the flags on the top. Flags and a little bit of just yeah. vine. So I filled in the white flowers and I did the skull. And that was fun to see that in various stages of being stitched. Oh, it's I so beautiful. I could not put it down. It's your Zimmerman I, cutlet. I, I just could not. And I don't like stitching with white. On regular fabric, great. but white on black was really a challenge. Oh, so that is yeah. called Memento Mori. And it is stitched on 25 count black Lugana with called four fibers, two strands over two fabric threads. And I've got a boatload left. Oh my gosh, I thought I was making such great progress. And this is all DMC, correct? Yes, yes. I didn't Gorgeous. bring them with, but the colors, as you can tell, are just beautiful. I'm really such anxious to start those birds just below, where am I? Just below. Those are birds, two birds. I'm really anxious. Oh, look to at start that! Those. Fancy like parrots. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm really excited to start those. So I stitched on that quite heavily, as you can see by my small progress. But I want to. When I make each stitch, I'm very cautious of um, pulling each stitch in. Not stitching. You know how we stitch, stitch, stitch. But I'm making the placement be very direct almost pulling it so it's got almost like a stamped cross stitch. So, so it's very, intel it, very um, intentional. Yes, because um, I tried with three strands, which this would be equivalent to a 12 and a half. So three strands would be what would give you that full coverage, mm -hmm. but it laid so bulky, and I think that's because I've, I've gotten spoiled with that one strand. It's so easy to get spoiled with the one strand. And I was never going to be a one strand girl, and now look what happened. But the two strands, I'm enjoying this. It's each each stitch is intentional, and I and I'm really liking that yeah. type of stitching. So oh, it's perfection. <clears throat> so that's that. For some reason, I'm hungry, thirsty for a margarita. I, now. Well, Catherine, <laughs> Catherine and I Thursday night when we sent our hunters off, Bella went up with Grandpa and all the boys up to the Deer Woods for a youth hunt. Um, Catherine and I went to... You were hunting youth at a restaurant. <laughs> well, not really hunting, but certainly looking. I mean, did I say that? She had a margarita. I, of just course... Just window shopping. It's yes, okay. I was... Um, just look, no touch, you know. <laughs> so we... Um, she Except had a margarita. For the salsa. Yeah, then. she had a margarita okay. the size of her head. Oh. And I love to take a picture of her each time because she's got these huge eyes when she sips. So we had a lot of fun. We were Rosy out, cheeks. Yep, we were out with that. Me, I had a Diet Coke. So I was the designated driver. Always tastes good out of the fountain over restaurant yep. ice. Yep, it was very good. Well, then I decided I found a Netflix show. I was watching The White Queen. Does it have orgasms in it? Uh, a few. <laughs> were you able to stitch through them? Yeah, they they, they weren't they were that was no Jamie and Claire, I'll okay, tell good. you. But it was a very good story and I established. I wanted to watch it when I knew Tom wasn't around because it was more of a love story because I know it was two, more of a chick flick. Well it was in the fourteen hundreds and I know two people were fighting over different countries, but you know Boy, nothing says romance like the fourteen hundreds. <laughs> Don't you find that? Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was many, many, as you could tell, it was many, many hours. I finished the whole first. It only had Ooh. one season. But I did... Um, Let's I, whip off the clips, I, shall we? I remembered the clips. But I did um, watch the whole season and did a whole lot of stitching on... This is um, Stony Creek Harvest Blessing, 
and it is stitched on 36 count Tobias. seraphim Tobias. Oh. That's a whole lot of oh, pumpkin to stitch. And you know when I got to this part here, I'm like, oh, no, it just, that you little know what? bit. We, we need the white. Oh, the white? Yeah, we need the white. Um, so I'm thinking, oh, those two little things, that must have, that I actually thought in my head, that must define the rabbit's legs. <laughs> I realized, Julia, it's really not a rabbit. It's an You idiot. can't unsee it. No, that's you can't. Problem. No, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's such a great color. Yeah. That's so nice now I'm color. getting to the part of the pattern where um, I'm going to put my finger there so it's there. Right here where the ship. is where the ship is going to be in the um, Gentle Art Sampler Thread Variegated, what is it, um, Brick Path. I'm going to do this ship in the Variegated. So I'm going to have to kind of mark out where I want maybe some little waves to go mm -hmm. to be in the pumpkin color. And then I'll stitch oh. that. And oh, that's a lot of stitches, yeah. Julie. Oh, tell me about it. And then I'll stitch the leaf in the variegated as well. God, we can't be trusted, can we? So <clears throat> I did that. Wow. And then um, I guess I'll talk about, if I may, um, we are going to do a delightful detail tutorial on how to block finish designs. Because we've had oh, a lot of people I can't say, wait. I like how Julie block, blocks and knobs her finishes. <laughs> so. Well, you know, we could just limit that to the comments generally are, I like how Julie does, dot, dot, dot. Oh. And then there's that other one. Yeah. I the, think she's the one that likes Shepard's Bush. The one that um, does Shepard's Bush and sings. Yeah, see, I can't. God, today I can barely even talk. Just FYI, when I'm really stressed, my voice goes. So that's why some videos I sound somewhat normal. Other ones Unless I sound I'm stressing like her out, and then. No. Okay, so I got something else to show. This. I had bought this so um, Frankenstein spool from Crafty Blue Bonnet Designs. And I believe the gal's name is Amy. I believe that's correct. Um, so what I did... Original design by April and Haley Jackson. Well, I was wrong. It's April. We're fact-based. <laughs> and Julie's not paying attention. Sorry, April. <laughs> Where did you see that? I even Googled right it. Here. Oh, well, there again, there's that reading thing. It's right here on thing. the, right here on the chart, Julie. There's that reading thing. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I don't even know why I tried. Where's my boards? You are not helping. I love how you draw my inadequacies. No, it's not Amy. It's April. Well, I just wanted us to be fat I know. So that we don't, I'm not talking the rest of the video. Look at, is he not just absolutely adorable? He is stitched on um, 28 count fiber on a whim hydrangea. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is a really cool color. So what I'm going to do, I hope they don't mind, I'm going to stitch two more other designs up. And these will be our feature for the wooden block finishing tutorial so i've got a oh, couple they great. were they were quick stitches nice for tv because there were like 28 rolls of green i think so you re could... re referred to them as therapy stitching yes i did not put his little um bolts on the side yet because i've got two thoughts as how they did on the pattern they put bolts on the finishing and or I wanted to look, doesn't DMC have a metallic series? Mm -hmm. I wanted to look for silver to maybe do that. Oh. That'll be a game time decision yeah. as you stay because I'm not sure if I'm going to show you how to 
do bolts on the block or I haven't decided quite the detail of that yet but I have two more quick ones to stitch up and then um, Tom's going to prep all of the wood that we need prior to him going deer hunting so wow. then maybe we can do that with Catherine's assistance yeah and we'll Thanks, try to get Catherine. that tutorial done to you um, shortly so hang on it's coming but what fun He's was so this? He's so cute and quirky. Isn't he? Yeah. Thank you for such I, a cute design. And you guys, I love the, I love the, um, the stitched eyebrow on the top. Yeah. That's so cool. Very cute. And the other one I'm doing, I chose was a pumpkin. And the other one was a, um, a Santa. So I think they will be really fun little small Seasonal things. blocks. Yeah, because I want to show the process in its entirety. I don't want to say, and then you do this, this, and this, and it looks like this. I want to... Take like on Spongebob, 12 hours later, yeah. <laughs> and then we show it up. So I did um, stitch, sort of, finish that. Now, anything else? Um, what would you like to do now? What do you have? Do you have it? finishes? Do you? <laughs> I do have finishes. I, I, I do. May I share? Please do, Julie. Just a reminder for everybody, we're probably halfway through the video, just a reminder. Julie, the other one. <laughs> Jane. Julie. We go by many names. Oh. Yeah. Some of them we can't repeat. Oh, some of them I'm sure they thought. <laughs> Remember when I did this? Yes. Okay. Well, I finished them. So, this was my first time using Rick Rack in between. I must say, not fun. <laughs> it's for fat base, it's right? It's so cute. And then the yeah. back is pulled down. I think my down. arms are slightly longer. Yeah. So that is a spooky kind of black. Oh, they have such a nice weight to them. Yeah. Because they're on metal discs that are, if you can find them, grab them if you can't. You can, can just tell them. I have low blood sugar. Are you shaking <laughs> too? Shaking. <laughs> and then, of course, there's this one. Oh, is he not so cute. cute? He's so cute. And that has just some fine braid that I got at the Hoblob. They have great um, spools of um, trim. And then I just oh, I put the, the plaid. plaid on the back. And then I have um, this guy. Oh. Wow. And this one has a fun trim on the edge as well. And plaid on the back. A smaller plaid. That's a bigger... Oops. <laughs> so I'll put these... I have no idea. You know, I, I falled my house this last week. I've got so much fall stuff. Cute. It's like I don't even have any place to put this stuff. Oh. So. And it's such a bummer that those, they don't make those forms anymore. I know. In that size. But, you know, I think if you, um, and a cut mat board for my hands is horrible. But I know if you went to a frame shop, they would cut you circles. You had a guy. If you, if you have a guy. You could cut cut circles. I suppose if you stitched it on 56 count over one, it would fit on a Dritz button form. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, get on that. You have 56 count. All right. <laughs> You're a goof. Maybe this, maybe this afternoon. Yeah. Well, we'll Tonight we'll, during the Vikings we'll game. We'll pick that up. Why do I have a feeling that the, the Vikings play the San Francisco Are 49ers tonight? tonight? Oh, darn. Can I don't you, like football. You like can, football. I love all sports. But oh. can you imagine? Well, probably by the, the game will probably be over by the end of the first quarter. <laughs> Which is probably good because I think the ALCS between Houston and the Texas Rangers is on tonight. And I think this afternoon the Phillies and the Diamondbacks are playing. Well, there's Jane's football commentary. Me, I just sit down and I tell Tom what color outfits are we wearing oh i almost said something super inappropriate oh okay tell me later 
That doesn't mean no. That means like <laughs> no, if it's gonna come now. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time. Yeah. Just give me a minute. I'll <laughs> kind of rock it out just so it'll go away. I don't understand football. They throw the towel on the field and then they all get upset. And I, I thought the, yeah, I thought someone painted the yellow line. I didn't know that that was superimposed. I never. You know the first time my daughter Evie and their boyfriend Alan came over to watch football. You know, Alan doesn't know what a weirdo I am. I mean, he doesn't know, but at that time he didn't know we were watching a football game. And I said, wow, isn't that something? How they can paint that yellow line to indicate where the first down marker is and then get it off of the field and then repaint it in between <laughs> plays? Or, God, you know how you notice like how these 10 yards are a different color green than the other 10 yards? <laughs> That's got to be a lot of work to do that. I bet those people are tired at the end of the game, and he's like, <laughs> you know there, that's like electronic, right? That's superimposed. And I'm like, no, because look, that guy's standing on the yellow line. That's not going over the top of his shoes, and he was just so confused. I laughed so hard. Well, and see, me, for years, I thought the first stone was the first guy that fell. I didn't <laughs> I know nothing about it. Why well, is everybody you swear because they threw that towel on the field? What does that mean? Oh, I, I really God. have no concept of the game. And maybe it's better that way. Yeah, yeah, because all the swearing, I mean, who wants to watch something that makes you that angry? So it's better. Apparently in this house, somebody <laughs> likes it enough to do it twenty four seven, even if it's not a Minnesota team. No. Thank goodness, like this time of the year, it's football. Um, well, the Twins are out of the playoffs for baseball. The World Series, hockey, and now Wednesday of this week, it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Oh. Y'all, it's hard to be a Minnesota sports fan because you have to deal with constant disappointment. Yeah. But there's a lot of yelling that goes on in this house. Apparently, it influences the outcome of the game. I didn't oh. know that. Yeah. I, the we good thing the weather is colder because the windows have to be shut. So does the amount of beer you drink, I think, affects the outcome of the game. That's... Oh, yeah. A new variable. I know. I, I'm just not one. a sports gal. I'll sit there in the same room, but, you know, I just have to, the outfits are what Oh, I me. just want to say it so bad. Well, well, we'll put it in the show. <laughs> okay, so I finished it's this. so cute. Um, maybe I'll tell you what this is. It is that Bent, um, Creek. Bent Creek, Creek zipper. Okay, this is the fabric that I bought to use for the bag. But I wanted it to look different. So I took a chance and I oh, coffee dyed it. I'm going to start with that. Look. Oh, wow. Wow. Isn't that something? That is amazing. So oh, then I those. wanted to make it splotchy. Yeah, I'll spread them out. I, Catherine goes, so mom, why do you put that on the back? No one's going to see it on the back. Again, we distinguished that. Here, I'll show you the back. It was fun to do. I took some old buttons. So cool. I had a key. I had that old scissor charm and some beads. And I had to get um, <laughs> what we do for the love of stitching. I wanted a bronzy colored skirt pin. Yeah. So, of course, on the Amazon, I ordered. So now I have 59 We've got the left. hobla. I have 59. And we have the zon. I have 59 left. Because I... That's Maybe if I ever fat. finish anything, I can buy them. Well, anything. I have black, silver, and when I did black. It was a variety yep, pack. It was a variety pack awesome. of skirt pins. And so I wanted this back to be splotchy. So after I initially dyed it, which I was very thrilled with, I thought, oh, I'll just put and you some dyed on it with top. Coffee. I put it in okay. a bowl of coffee. Or tea or whatever. Coffee. Okay. It was coffee. Um, I couldn't get it to splotch because I think it had already absorbed the color, stained. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to make it darker, and it wouldn't absorb anymore to be dark. But I didn't want there to be dark splots on this white. I think it's perfect. The way so it it's out. like, well, I even put wet grounds on it. Yeah, did not. Did nothing. I put wet grounds Here, and rubbed it in. Oh, sure. That's the front. 
And I and I had like three different types of trims on it. And so I'm like, okay, now I'm just gonna get out my jute and I'm gonna cord my hey, jute. jute. <laughs> Don't make it sad. I can't. I don't so, know the rest of the word. Isn't that terrible? I'm, I'm not a Beatles fan. They take a sad song and make it better. better. Isn't it something like that? Maybe. I don't. I, I just heard about it. I don't really remember. Know. So that's what I did do. That's what I decided to do. And, and this you can is start to make it better, 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 better. 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 That's how it goes. Now I remember. Na, That's... Na, 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 na. You're welcome for the earworm, everybody. <laughs> so can you see oh, how if I put God, that pin on the front, it would have looked like he lost like his jingles off the bottom of his coat? I couldn't yes. do that. And yeah. Catherine agreed. So she goes, well, I guess people are just going to have to turn all your stuff around to see all the fun on the back. So for, fine, for being Party a piece, in the back. For being a piece that I had lost for better part of 20 years. It's Getting great. it together, stitching it, not really liking it, but doing the finish. I think it's kind of cute. I have to finish. That's so, start finishing. And things. I did the Vana um, Pfeiffer pillow tutorial. Still having a little trouble down where you do your final seam, but I had to get over it. So, yeah, so that's my finish and my dye, my first time of coffee dye. Oh, it's so great. Yeah, I, I won't, um, I won't hesitate Ooh. to. Yeah. Oozer! <laughs> Oozer! Hey, Jane. And Jane. A.K.A. the, a, the other one. <laughs> Don't so, worry, we'll cut all this off. So, You'll okay. You'll never see it. So now what? Do we... There again, Aaron Blabber Julie doing um, all the blabbing. Delightful deliveries? Do you have some? I do have some delightful deliveries. Do tell. Do tell. Um, my October fabric came for color and cotton, and this is 36 count overcast. Um, I love their fabric. This is one of my recent favorites. And... Did you already see what it is? 36 count overcast. Okay. I was... Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. It's kind of heathery. I don't know don't... Heather, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> She's friends with Amy. And then these are <laughs> April and Amy. April. <laughs> and then here are the uh, October colors, which are also beautiful. Doesn't the fabric have yeah. a lavender tinge to it is what I was getting at with the Heather. Or are my eyes just... Or is it brown? God. When you sing, uh, it throws me I, where I can. I know. You're welcome, everybody. Uh, I think it's more brown, more like a brown. grayish brown. It's beautiful. It is. And then, beautiful. um, I have two other acquisitions. Ooh. Here's a beautiful project. Sorry, I gotta click your pen off. It's making me nervous. Um, beautiful project oh. bag by Pin and Tunny. I will link their Etsy store below. Oh, wow! It reminded me of Downton Abbey. Yes, for some reason. I'm a big Downton Abbey fan. Me too. Um, but beautifully made, and some Ooh. nice polka dots on the inside. Um, so many cool bags. Yeah. May um, I see it up close? She's and then, it around, I hope you're all it. sitting down. A beautiful I, bag from Buckleberry Quilts, everybody! Oh my gosh. Look oh, at what are Look they? Look at the little mice. Look at the little mice. In jeans. Oh, they're so cute. Perfect oh for fall. Oh my gosh. And look on the inside. Oh, 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 Judy. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love her. It's very fallish. Yeah. What are you going to put in there? A fall project. A fall project. Oh, a blackberry fall project. Blackbird. Maybe. I've got all the. Yeah, maybe. Um, so those are some. A fall one that you were, pip that you've pipped up. I have a couple that I've pipped up, mm. ready to go. 
Um, and then mm -hmm. thanks um, to Julie and Kathy and Leslie, we found one of my Hi unicorns, girls. probably my yes. biggest unicorn. This is Blackbird, a fine collection. Mm -hmm. Oh, that came over on the hotline. Kathy's like, oh, look what we found. Look what we found. Tell and Jane. it's in magnificent shape. And I just, um, it had been a little while since I had my hands on it. So I look, leafed through it right before we came in, and I think um, I want to stitch every single thing. Yeah. I so. offered to lend you mine, but she wanted her own, and now I know why, because I, too, want to stitch so many yeah. things in there. And I always am so like uncomfortable. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm always so one. uncomfortable borrowing someone, others, someone else's printed materials. Because then I feel like pressure to stitch them ASAP, oh, and I'm see. afraid something's going to happen to it. Um, so that's that delightful delivery. And then, oh, y'all. Okay. Do you want me to I, watch your water? Oh, you're I'm making just, me nervous. Well, you're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> you're making me nervous, sir. Um, Fine. It's here. Oh. The hands across the sea black box, or uh, red <laughs> box. Red, it's red. <laughs> a compendium of needlework projects, words of wisdom, hands across the sea. And um, I haven't opened it yet. Um, there is a request. I think some folks haven't received theirs yet. So there's a request not to display the contents on social media until I think mid-November. But you know, I don't follow any rules, so I'm gonna show you what's inside. Spoiler alert, everybody. Oh, look, here's what's inside. We don't know. I've had it for a couple of weeks and haven't opened it yet. So I told Julie maybe after we've watched the video back and um, hung our heads in shame for a little while while we watch. And decide whether or not we should redo should it. Should we just do it over? Mm -hmm. um, can't you just learn how to edit, Jane? No, not right now. Um, maybe we would open it together and discover what's inside together. So we're going to do that. So stay tuned. There will be more about that. Yes. Let me check my list. I took her pen away. Because oh, who's got a list? Excuse me. Who's I got a list? Because we had so many oh, wonderful yes. people mention us. So let me, you know, you prepare yourself with your delightful right. deliveries. Wait, I got to get, I got to yeah, hydrate. Too. Um, we want to thank all of you for mm -hmm. your wonderful comments. We read each and every one. We talk about them. I, I'm so sorry that I just haven't been responding to all of them like I would like to. Um, mm -hmm. You show up for us each and every episode. I feel like it's only right that we show up for you and acknowledge your, um, respond to all your comments and your emails. And I'm just so far behind. So... Um, but know that we really do yes. appreciate and we read each and every one. Um, and you're all so incredibly kind. We couldn't be more grateful. And then there's the kindness of the floss tube community. Mm -hmm. So we've had a lot of folks uh, shout us out and we really appreciate that. Um, Sarah from Sarah's Stitchy Pot Spot. Hi, Stitchy Sarah. Pot. Sarah Stitchy, Stitchy Spot. Spot. Hi, Sarah. We haven't um, had lunch yet, so that's why we're talking about I haven't eaten today, so my blood sugar is extremely <laughs> low, and I have the shakes. Um, Chris, the camping stitcher. Thank you very much, Chris. Hi, Chris. Um, I'm going to link Chris's Etsy shop below because she has started designing and has some wonderful, wonderful designs. And um, her latest one I'm going to um, purchase and start stitching as soon as possible. Um, Fall is my favorite color, mm -hmm. and I think maybe that's what will go in Judy's oh. fall bag. So thank you, um, yes. Chris, Molly, and Kathy of Linen and Scraps. Hi, ladies. Hi, Molly and Kathy. Um, go watch their video. Such a variety mm -hmm. of projects, and their friendship is such a yeah. uh, a great one. And Kathy, we hope your knee uh, continues to get better and better. And then Lizzie, the Lizzie the Stitcher, go check her out, please. Tamara, I'd rather be stitching. It's I'd rather be, B-E-E, -E, uh, stitching. Uh, Beth, the Red Cross stitcher. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Um, thank you so much. Angie and Sally, the August 1823 stitchers. Thank you. 
Christy and Callie, Floss Boss and Cousins, thank you. And then um, a, uh, a Ute or a Floos, Floos Tuber. <laughs> Floss Tuber. What is happening? I'm going to start walking toward the light in a minute. Campbell. Do you want it, Mint? <laughs> They're sugar free. Oh, this is terrible, y'all. My brain is just shutting down. Campbell and her floss tube is called Stitch Therapy. Yes. And I had a chance to watch just a few minutes this morning. I will be, um, when I can't sleep, yeah. I will be watching that tonight. So many to catch up yes. on. We just, neither one of us have had any, no. um, well, internet service or time yeah. to sit and um, and watch them. But so uh, many thank, you so yeah, thank you so much for um, your gracious shout outs. Some of them who we have known for a while yeah. and those new ones that we are yet Just to watch yeah. to see all that they have to offer. Yeah. So and we also have hit the milestone of 6,000 subscribers. Oh, that's right. Thank you so much. Y you all are the best. Um, <laughs> when I saw it click over, I'm like, where are they coming from? I thought, you know, thank All you. of the corners of this wonderful, beautiful world. Yep, yeah, thank you yeah. so thank much. Thank you so much. So Okay, well, I think you better start talking again about your delightful deliveries because well, I am fading fast. Well, think about what we should get for lunch. Hot or, hot or cold? I have just something we don't have to make. So you'll have to think of it. Pay attention, though, because I do have some new things to share. One of the things I did do um, is that... <laughs> so why do these things... I'm always going to Blue Earth after something's happened. So, you know, I went to... Hi, Justine and Shelley. Hi, Justine and Shelley. I went to Blue Earth after Tom's mom passed away. Then I, I was set to go to Blue Earth to take that class yeah. after Bella had her accident. So I went down to um, Welcome Stitchery, and I took a um, punch needle class. Oh, how much now, fun. the reason why I wanted to... Oh, Oh no! Oh, no. Man down! Oh, I don't wait. even think I can get it. Okay, wait, I'm wait. gonna scooch. This is not gonna be pretty. I'm gonna do this just in case. Yeah, you need to. Okay. Do 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 in 2005, I bought this pad <laughs> for punch needle. Isn't that oh, fun? Cute. I yeah. liked it so much that in 2005, I bought the box <laughs> with it. So I have housed this beautiful box. I haven't even unpackaged it. Um, it's a small candle box with lid. Country and Threads, my sewing box. And this is from the Quilted Crow. I don't think either one of them are still up and running but <clears throat> I just thought oh, oh I've got to do that because it looked like a little rug yeah. punch needle does and you know how I wanted to make a little rug out of French knots when I was growing up so so what I did is I took the class and with the class came a whole bunch of fun stuff okay I'll take it out of its bag okay I didn't know the process I knew you had a punch needle yeah, okay, so I knew you had a punch needle. And what stumped me last time was how to thread it. <laughs> so the first thing we learned was how to thread it with this wire. Yeah, it's really cool. You have, and I can't do it without magnification, but you you have to select your loop size. There's your punch there. And it's got a hole in it. And the needle is hollow. So you slide this needle threader down and you pull your fiber through. So the first thing we learned was how to thread the needle. Oh, silly, silly. So this is what... The second thing I learned, everybody probably knows this but me. 
you work off of your skein or your ball. You don't cut a length because you don't know how much you'll need. Okay. So it's the first thing, um, Lynn was our instructor, um, told us was to work off the DMC. The number end, now people probably know this, I didn't for all the years of bobbinating. If you pull that tail that's by the number end, you will have without knots. Get out. I know! That was worth the class right there. So you've threaded in your needle. I'm not going to do it, but you thread it in your punch needle. Then you got to buy this really cool hoop set up. Oh. A big one on the bottom, a little one on the top. It has little side legs. We got to assemble it. And then she told us that our fabric had to be drum tight. Okay. I'm a fan. I'm drum okay. Tight. Now this is so. Here is any of you. This is a Morgan hoop. You can just work off a hoop, but of course I wanted the stand. Then this was the next thing that was amazing. To I me. love gadgets. This, is, the this is called the Mighty Winder. And you know me with my hand problems. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm going to show Jane. So she'll, you have to watch her face. You put this on and it tightens your nut. Am I on? You put it on and it's. Does it apply to only stands? Because <laughs> I think some of my nuts need to be tightened today. <laughs> but you can tighten it to get it really tight without trying to use your fingers. Sure. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can try it. If, it it's just try tightening that nut. It's like you feel like a mechanic. Oh, and it's metal. It's yes. not plastic. Yes, no, it's, <laughs> it's metal. And is it's, that? And it's blue. I know, but is that not that genius? Yes, yeah, that is genius. So now I learned how to pull the thread. I learned how to tighten you it up. You got a mighty winder? I know. And then the other thing I got is part of the class was done with um, uh, Valdani over-dyed thread. Of course, then she had this little thing. Since you work off the ball, it's a little jar. It's so cute. And then you can work out of that. Even this for heart anger, so your balls just, don't roll. I was just going to say. Don't want to have a... You don't you want control over your balls at all. Absolutely. <laughs> Not words I usually I concur. Even play, <laughs> so like I was just blown away by all the gadgets. The one thing that threw me was okay, so what you do is you've got your pattern and Jane and I have looked at this this book of these books before. The punch needle and primitive stitcher. Now I'm more primitive than Jane is, but Jane goes, I'll say, you go, she, she said, I really didn't get much out of the book. Because yeah. it really, even it's, though they have cross-stitch. It's not my vibe. Yeah. They're, they're beautiful. Um, and, and I looked at it, and I'm like, yeah. I mean, they have some cute cross-stitch things absolutely. in it and finishing things in it. But I'm like, I don't quite understand, like, how... How it is they're just drawings and she told us you can take them from color books you can create your own because it's very simplistic it's not defined it's not precise so you can free form it and there are no rules oh boy well I'm like I good guess, thing it was 2023 yeah. Julie that was taking the class I'm like, how am I going to do this? It really threw me. It, it really did. I go, well, what do I do now? Just punch, just punch, punch, punch. So what you do, I took out his nose three times so he may not have a nose because it looked like an arm, an orange arm. And because I kept telling her, this isn't looking right, this isn't looking right. And she kept saying, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm like, if you say that one more time. But it's true. So what you do, this is my thing. Oh, how cute. You um, just start punching around the outside and you work towards the inner. And I'm like, yeah. So you just go so around cute. and you follow the design. 
And what I wasn't understanding is the real thing is underneath. Stop it. I know, because I'm like, well, where are the loops? I don't have it set long enough. And she goes, it's on the inside. Oh. See? So it's like. It's magic. I know. You but punch I'm like, away and then you get a surprise. Oh, I know. Cute. So then first thing I did was, of course, the little brown hole of the um, birdhouse. birdhouse. And it was just like a plop, just like his head is right now with that wreath. See, that's a wreath, a bird's nest. So then when I put the green in, I'm like, this isn't going to work. Green. She goes, it'll work. I was probably not her best student, but so I'm but going most around. memorable. <laughs> I'm going around and around. And I turned it over and son of a biscuit, it had to it's find. Magic. And then she goes, you can just take your needle and just futz with it. Well, you're talking to someone with Hardanger where it's precision, precision. There's yeah. no futzing in, yeah. in, in Hardanger. Hardanger. Well, and maybe not in yours, but there is in mine. <laughs> but this was just mind-blowing that I had to let go of everything and sure. just trust the punching. So, yeah. That's so cool, Julie. So I'm just kind of, and she told us, you know, see those rays coming out like from his body? Yeah. Then she told us with your, um, if you can see, you would go around and then go line, 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 because that's with the variegated, so it'll look oh. like rays bursting out from him. Because I think... So, of course, I had to buy, like, three books because now that I understood what, the, one does. what now that I understood what the books were all about, let me, um, I, I thought, yeah, this is something really cool. So, here's what he looks like. Gene. Oh. Is he not adorable? So, oh, this is what he'll surely. look like. I love him. I know. So it's like, oh my gosh. So I bought a whole, I bought books and books and gadgets and I'm just like so much fun. So I hope. Um, oh, how this, awesome. I hope his nose can be salvageable because, oh, and this fabric is called Weaver's Cloth. It's not muslin. Um, it's weaver's cloth. So, and then also there's, see now I've never punched needle before. So with this thing, see how it's shaped? I held it like a pencil, pencil? and that hurt my thumb a little. Justine said they just got this. It's the, called the smart punch. And you look inside, this is like more ergonomically sure it's got a thumb indent if you can see that I don't think I'm gonna be able to see that oops how about so you would hold it like this rather than like you know but see how that yeah um, the only difference is this blue one comes with three different um, needles um, and it comes, that one only comes with the one size. Because, see, you change out, oops, I just dropped my spring. We better not roll over that. I think it went on the floor. So it's got a spring, but it's got different needles for if you're using two strands. You know, this is six sure. strands. So we just have to remember when we, our, our two charming bodies slide out of here that we don't crush okay, our spring. Mine doesn't slide. Okay. But. So yeah, so that just like blew my mind. How fun. To to learn something new and uh, be around other gals that were learning something new. And um, I think that'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to finishing this. If for no other reason than gadgets. I know. This that game would be changer the fun for, me. for any, you know, any oh, hooter that you idea. use. Tom was impressed. He goes, well, it's metal. Like you said, it's a nice yeah, durable tool. Yeah, it's a nice weight so tool. So I know Justine has, um, uh, I'll just put this up. She's got all my designs, and she also has 
all of the um, items that we use for the class. The Morgan Stand and the Mighty Winder. And the Smart Punch. Smart Punch. Yeah. So give Justine a call or go to her website if you are interested in starting something new. Like we need another thing, but we do. And I'm kind of anxious to finish this and actually finish it into something. I can't wait. Just to have it, if that nose recovers. Otherwise, maybe I'll just put a little carrot button nose on if it, because I like took it all three times. It'll look great either yeah. way. So, and then I guess the only other thing that I got was, I had done a couple of things on cognac. Remember we talked about yeah, cognac fabric? Yeah, your black fabric. cats on parade, that drum. Hard to find. Yeah. I've looked several places and it's out. Um, I also looked and found that I had, by Witch Oat, um, Halloween. Oop. This is um, a 32 count Halloween. Pretty close. Pretty close. Jane, when we were in the green room, you said it was more... A little more pumpkin-y. Yeah, not quite as but much. But very, very, very close. Yeah, easy very substitution. Close. What a great find. And then um, I also found... Um, uh, I ordered two hand-dyed fabrics. Um, the sticker says Crazy Hamster. And it's hand-dyed Lugana. And... I bought two pieces because I have 32 count. They're the same, but I bought one for me because I have that crow mm -hmm. picture I wanted to do. And then Catherine has a Halloween or her Christmas silhouette. And of course online it's kind of hard to tell. Wouldn't you think this, it's way cool, would look cool with her black Christmas silhouette yes. of that Santa on yep. the sleigh. It's not too green. And the modeling is very subtle. Subtle. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, yeah, so I bought and received these two pieces. They're the same, but I thought that was really cool with the coloring. Crazy and hope, hamster. Hope that that will work for the pieces that wow. we chose to do. If not, we'll just do something else. You know, no, can't, that can't is not very have cool. that. So, is that everything? Well, the place is, looks like a bomb went off, so I think be, it must be everything. Must be. So, well, it was fun to see you, Jane. It was nice to see you, Julie. <laughs> nice to see you. We should have lunch. Let's have lunch. Should we have lunch yep. sometime? Let's have lunch. Should I have my people call your people? Yeah. We'll pencil us in. Just lunch. It's just lunch. Just lunch. What are we going to have for lunch? Have you thought while I was punch I needling? A lot. We're going to have a lot for lunch. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> I think so. Yeah. Well, um, we will be back hopefully in two weeks. I am having surgery on Wednesday. Nothing thoughts to be concerned and, yep, but about. But thoughts and prayers are appreciated always. Thank you. Um, so we should be back, what is it, November 4th. Fourth. So we hope to be back for that starting the month of Thanksgiving. Lots to be thankful mm -hmm. for. Um, and maybe we can have some things done. Hopefully we won't have. Hopefully I'll have some good stitching time. Right? Mm -hmm. You'll have good stitching time? Yes, I hope so. And then we'll maybe... Oh, we can't see the box next week, next episode either. No, the well, we will one. just gush over it <laughs> and hold it over your heads. <laughs> but, um... You know, in the spirit. Nicola, um, Hands Across the Sea has a floss tube that I think she released yesterday. And she actually unveils the contents of the box. And um, I heard from another floss tuber um, that she was very good about saying, okay, the next segment is unveiling the box. So if you don't, you haven't opened yours, yours yet or you haven't received yours, here's your spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. um, turn away now. Um, kind of like my warning when I'm going to show things that have not been pressed. Oh, yeah. 
Um, and so if you're really curious about what's in the box, that would be a good source yeah. for you. But. And we don't want to, um, we will spoil alert as well because some people have gotten their box and they're waiting till Christmas as their Christmas gift. Well, that's what they said, so then that's on them to not look, but we'll hopefully show it. I don't think any of those people watch us, so that was probably okay. <laughs> the die, the diehard sampler stitchers that are like, Jane and Julie. Oh, oh. yeah, Shepherd's Watch. Yeah. Oh, well, they're missing out. We sure have fun. But we're not for everyone. Yeah. It's okay. But that's all right. Yep, that's all right. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Okay, so we'll see you in a couple of weeks. We want to thank you again for um, joining us today. Um, remember to be kind to yourself and always remember to give yourself one more day. Just one more. If what you're carrying today seems too heavy for you, put it down. Put it down for today. Um, tomorrow it either may not seem as heavy or it may not be yours to carry tomorrow. So just whatever it is. Um, that's heavy on your heart today, put it down. Just put it down for today. Make it through today, and then give yourself another day, and then another one after that, and another one after that. Um, if I can do it, you can do it too. So let's pinky swear like we always do, that we will string all of those one more days together until we meet up back here to have another rambling, crazy, wonderful <laughs> adventure together. <laughs> and I promise next time I will have eaten something before. Um, so until then, Julie and I wish you nothing but the best health and happiness and the abundance of all of the things that make you happy and healthy. And until we see you next time, Bye. happy stitching, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye Take care. Be good to yourself. Be good to us. Na, 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 na.